Hello, today we're going to make homemade Canadian bacon. It's a process, it takes uh, about 12 days, and uh, today's the very first step in the process. So we have to make a brine, and in my brine I have one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and three quarters of a cup kosher salt, two teaspoons of liquid smoke, and one tablespoon of pink preg curing powder, which you can buy off uh, Amazon or online. You won't find this in any store only use what the recipe calls for, which is one uh, level tablespoon. So I'll go ahead, I got that all measured out. I'll go ahead and get it in some water that I have warmed up so it can start dissolving. And uh, I'll be back in a, a little bit. We'll open, get the pork loin out and uh, I'll trim it up. We'll cut off some of this fat and some of the silver skin. And I usually cut it in half just because it's easier to handle uh, on my slicer and, uh, and the smoker too. So I'll cut it in half, we'll clean it up, uh, we'll get the brine cooled down and then we'll inject it with brine, put it into a Ziploc bag and uh, dump the rest of the brine in the bag and let it uh, sit in the refrigerator for 12 days. On the 12th day, we'll take it out, we'll rinse it off, let it air dry a little bit, we'll put it on the smoker. So, all right, that's it for now. I'll be back in a few minutes as we uh, trim up the pork loin. Thank you. Uh, removed a bunch of the fat, cut it in half, and then we decided, oh, let's have some pork chops for tomorrow. So we'll set those aside. Uh, I'm trying something different. Uh, I, I slit the bag on the end and slid the pork loin out. Now I'm gonna see if I can't put it back into the bag uh, and put it into a pan when we inject it with my brine. <clears throat> I have the brine in the refrigerator, got it nice and cooled down. Oh, here's a little trick I do. I, I like to set the cutting board over one sink. Put a washcloth there so it don't slide. And then when I lay watermelon or meat, it runs right into the sink. Then when I do down, I just wash the cutting board down. So just a little tip. Nice tip. <clears throat> here's the uh, brine that's cooled down. So we started with a gallon of water and uh, put in a cup of brown sugar, a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup kosher salt, and the uh, two teaspoons of liquid smoke, and the one tablespoon of cure. So as you can see, the pork is swelling up as I go ahead and inject it. And like I said, this is kind of a, can be somewhat of a messy job, if you don't have plastic over it, it uh, likes to squirt out at you. And uh, it can get your floor all sticky and make your wife uh, not so happy. That's Oops. right. <clears throat> it's actually fine when you clean up your mess. That's right. Like I said, if I didn't have it in that plastic, stuff squirts out, and goes all over you, goes on the floor. So. This ain't working too bad. This, that was a very good idea, Randy. Thank you. Thought it'd be worth a try. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll slide it out of there and I'll put them into a uh, Ziploc baggie and we'll put it back in the refrigerator for 12 days and uh, we'll be back. Thank you. We'll try to get the air out of it as much as we can. Go ahead and lay it in here. Oh, I remember when we put it in there. It kind of equalizes the pressure. So my brine don't like to ooze out. Right now it was a, w without anything in there, the, the brine's trying to get out. Now the pressure's equalized and it is stay in there a lot better. So I'll go ahead and put it in the fridge. Thank you. Hi, so we're, we're back with our homemade Canadian bacon. It, it's been in the brown sugar brine for 12 days now and uh we're gonna take it out we'll rinse it off pat it dry and then we'll get it on the smoker okay so we're back i'm gonna try something uh, a little bit different on half of the canadian bacon i was going to put a little bit of a honey glaze on it 
Uh, as I showed you earlier, I scored it lengthways, going to open up a little bit. I'll, I'll uh, baste it a couple times with a honey glaze and uh, we'll give it a try. And the other half I'll just leave normal, like normal Canadian bacon. So we'll make the, uh, the honey glaze now. So I got some brown sugar, a little bit of honey. We'll add to it, thanks to Sue B. Honey out of Sioux City, Iowa. Uh, we'll add a little cayenne pepper. Two measures. Just a, a little bit of horseradish mustard. Ew. Just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a couple dribbles, and just a little bit of rice vinegar. And we'll mix all that up. And uh, when it gets close to being 145 degrees, I'll start basting it around 100 degrees. And uh, about every 15 minutes, I'll just uh, roll it over and we'll put another layer on. So mix this up good and uh, we'll wait for the temperature to get right and then we'll start basting it. So thank you very much. We'll see you later. Hello, we're back. Uh, it's done. Internal temperature 145 degrees. Pulled it off the Traeger just a few minutes ago. It's been on uh, just about four hours at uh, 200. And then I cranked it up to 240 degrees. But uh, this one uh, it is perfect. This is the one we put the honey brown sugar glaze on it. Um, it looks real good. Um, I, I want to try to get the glaze a little, right now it's wet, I want to get it a little crunchy and crispy so I could crank the grill way up in temperature but uh, I thought I'd just take the torch and, and try to heat it up and it's kind of fun to play with anyhow and uh, see if we can't just burn it or not burn it but just get that sugar bubbling hot so it gets crispy when it dries. So we'll throw a little fire to it and see what happens here. As you can see the brown sugar slightly bubbles. We don't want to burn it, we don't want to turn it black, but I'm just, I want it crispy. Fun. And this is something new. I've never put a glaze on Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon basically tastes like ham. All right, we'll let these things settle down, put them in the refrigerator, and uh, maybe tomorrow night we'll slice them up. Thank you. Hey, so we're back. Uh, we finished smoking the Canadian bacon last night about 10 o'clock. Put it in the fridge, let it cool down real good. And uh, here's the finished product. We're going to go ahead and slice them up. I put it in the freezer just for about 15, uh, about a half hour while we ate supper. Uh, cold meat always slices better. So we'll see what happens here. I'll turn this on, you won't be able to hear anything. <laughs> Looks like ham when it's sliced up. It is nice and juicy. It's slightly froze, but it is. <clears throat> it's really good. It really is good. Got a little bit of sweet <clears throat> flavor from the brine, a little bit of smoke flavor, and uh, best Canadian bacon I've ever had. Uh, you can buy that stuff in the store that's beautiful, perfectly round, looks highly processed. Um, very expensive. This is a very cheap way to make it. This whole pork one I think was like $14. But we got a lot of Canadian bacon here. So, all right, we'll keep slicing. Thank you. Hey, so we got the first half um, sliced up, and now I'm going to do the smaller half, which actually put the honey glaze on. So I did slice this at the end off to straighten it up. And uh, it's very good. It does have just a a little sweetness to it with that honey glaze. What am I gonna do with all this Canadian bacon? Well, we make pizza on the grill and we also make uh, ham sandwiches out of it. We also put in scrambled eggs sometimes. So it, it tastes very, very similar to ham. So, okay, so we're back, we got it all sliced up, got it bagged. Um, like I said, it was about a seven and a half pound pork loin. I think it cost us a dollar seventy a pound or so. So. Uh, Sliced up nice. I like to lay them out thin uh, so they lay flat in the freezer and they also thaw quick that way. So uh, just freezer bags, I, I zip it almost all the way, just leave a little bit and just suck the air out of it tight. Uh, a food saver does the same thing. I was just out of food saver bags. But uh, I don't know if I would do the honey uh, glaze. I can't tell a big difference. Not sure it was worth the extra effort. I think probably uh, next time I'll probably just go with the uh, just the regular. 
Thanks for joining. And that's all I got. See you later.